ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I took a little bit of a break. I had a severe computer malfunction. And one word of advice, uh, don't attempt to install a new operating system that you just downloaded uh, at about four in the morning after a couple of beers because you tend to make mistakes. And that's, uh, I'll leave that at that. So anyhow, I'm back with a freshly working computer and a new handy dandy backup system. And uh, I'd like to get right back into the, uh, the PSP. Because in the meantime, I have downloaded a ton of little homebrew emulators and things like that with the custom firmware, which I'll show you a little sample of. Let me scroll down past a couple of these games I have in there. There's the N64 emulator. Very cool stuff. It's a little choppy though, it's a little buggy. It's more or less pushing the uh, limits of the PSP to emulate the N64 system. One of my favorites here is a Super Nintendo emulator. I'll show you what that looks like. A little intro animation. Here's my list of uh, ROM files for it. Let's take a look at something that we can all recognize. We can see a more or less flawless emulation of Super Mario World. The PSP does handle the Super Nintendo very well. Well, you get the idea. I got a ColecoVision emulator on here. Very cool. Let's load up a ROM. I don't have too many ColecoVision ROMs on there. I just didn't get a chance to uh, to load up my uh, PSP with that many Coleco ROMs. Then I'll go to uh, one of my favorites on the system here, Jungle Hunt. And it's a little hard to see, but the, the graphics on this are very crisp. But uh, you have to consider that my camera isn't picking up the PSP screen all that clearly. Oh, I died. There's the old Atari 7800. Start that thing up. load up a ROM. The uh, ColecoVision Atari 2600 and Atari 7800 emulators for the PSP all have the same uh, designer. So the, uh, the format looks very familiar. Let me pick uh, Dig Dug. Now I did notice the sound is a little muddled on the 7800 and I don't know if that's the uh, as per the original system or not or if it's the emulator's fault.
see. Ah, the emulator. Another great emulator here. I don't know who designed the Genesis emulator, but they did a fabulous job. I do have to run the uh, D-Gen Lite, which is a lighter version of the Genesis emulator on the PSP Slim. There is a different version, a full version of the emulator uh, that does not work so well on the Slim. You can see I got a whole bunch of Genesis ROMs loaded up. Let's try a little Golden Axe. Yeah, the Genesis uh, emulator on this thing, flawless. Plays very well. No complaints at all. Found very few games that didn't want to work with it. Whoops. Didn't mean to use my magic there. Ah, the old Atari 26 emulator. This was the main reason why I wanted to even get a PSP, was to install custom firmware just to load up an Atari 2600 emulator. And this thing works wonderfully. I have every Atari game uh, ever made loaded up onto this thing. And it doesn't take up much space at all. Each Atari game is about 3 or 4K. Let's load up a game here. Ah, oh, Berserk, one of my favorites, and it looks wonderful on the uh, PSP. Such a great game, with such simple gameplay, that it's really, this game is really made for a portable system. Make the screen a little bigger there. Ah, my Nestor J Nintendo NES emulator. This thing is uh, quite a mixed bag, let me tell you. I don't know a whole lot about the designer, except for that he's Japanese. And uh, it's a very bare-bones, skeletal uh, emulator. I, um, this is originally an all-black background with, the, with your round files and white on the side. I uh, took the liberty of, of uh, doctoring the uh, background image to have a picture of a, a Nintendo system on it. Uh, just because I couldn't stand the all-black background. Now, about 75% of the games I try on this thing work. There's a lot of games I want to work on this, and they just don't. Let me pick something that shows up well. Castlevania is a good choice. Now the games that do work on it work fine. And you can play uh, Famicom games on it. As long as they're not Famicom Disk System games. And, uh... But like I said, it's hit or miss with which games actually work on the emulator and which don't. Now the other thing I was doing was ripping my old uh, PlayStation 1 uh, game CDs and making my own custom eBoots with them. Like here's my own custom eBoot of Final Fantasy 7. There's my custom eBoot for Medal of Honor. Same thing goes with uh, Soul Blade. I added all my own sound backgrounds and all. That's a little uh, Ghost Space Killer in the background of Soul Blade. There's Tekken 3. Parappa the Rapper. Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider 2. and some Dead or Alive. 
with a little Eric D and Rock Kim in the background. Well, this is my first of many videos to come after my little break, and I hope to see you out there again soon. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.